and I have various methods one is deposit another is withdraw and all these things if you observe I have a balance inquiry method and a deposit method separately withdraw method and a balance inquiry method separately so whenever I want to deposit I need to say deposit then go for balance inquiry withdraw then go for balance inquiry now what is that I will do I will just try to define a new balance inquiry method with one parameter is amount another parameter is a flag now what I will say I will just pass a parameter amount and another parameter say flag D for deposit W for withdraw so I need to have one more method say public void balance inquiry but this time this balance inquiry should have two parameters one is double amount another is a string f flag now I'll check if flag is equals to D D stands for deposit then I need to perform some operation else if see that I am using my programming logic here that whatever we have learned flag equals to W that is nothing but withdraw then I need to write some logic else I will display a message invalid flag now if flag is D I will just say balance equals to balance plus amount or instead of this I can also say balance plus equals to amount both of the statements are one and the same here I can say balance minus equals to amount it is going to perform the same operation balance equals to balance minus amount and then I will display this now my program got enhanced I have two balance inquiry methods one balance inquiry is a method in using which I don't want to perform any operation just I want to display the information now another balance inquiry where I can perform deposit or withdraw now let me call this new balance inquiry method c dot balance inquiry now if you see if I say c dot balance inquiry it says one of two in the same way it was saying customer in the same way I have one of two one balance inquiry with no parameter another balance inquiry with two parameters so here I will pass two parameter one is 4500 another a string another string I need I will just pass d I will execute this see that I have deposited 4500 to 76000 I will just put a breakpoint over here I will just press F5 now it is going to call a balance inquiry method with two parameters one is amount another is if it is D it goes for incrementing the balance comes out of the block and displays the balance account number and name so I have taken this example just to explain that I can have more than one method with same name in a class but different parameters as we have more than one constructor with different parameters so we call this concept as constructor overloading in the same way if we have more than one method with different parameters we call it as method overloading method overloading is also called as static polymorphism we also call it as static polymorphism now what do you mean by a static polymorphism static means compile time static means compile time poly means many morphism means form now polymorphism many forms now balance inquiry is one but it is in many forms one with no parameter another is with two parameters so we can understand that this is polymorphism 
why do i call it as polymorphism because i am not executing the program say at compile time itself i am i knew that this is going to invoke this method and the balance inquiry with two parameter is going to invoke balance inquiry with two parameter method that is that means code for this is generated at compile time itself that means it need not to wait for run time my code gets generated at compile time itself so at compile time i knew that what method is going to be invoked so we, i call it as static polymorphism means because there are many forms of single balance inquiry so we call it as static polymorphism thank you very much